Hey there, friends. How's it going today? So a uh, quick lesson today. I want to answer a question that came in. It has to do with strumming in 6-8 time. And I'm going to give you a sort of crash course in strumming along with any song that uses this time signature. I would say most songs use 4-4 four, four time. I'd say 80% of all pop, rock, classic, rock, country, folk stuff uses 4-4 four, four time. But most of the time, otherwise, you're going to be in 6-8 time, right? Six counts per measure, which has a bit of a waltz feel, super similar to three-quarter time. Uh, but let's look at this question that came in. So Gene asks about No Hard Feelings by the Abbott Brothers. Um, I may be singing it for a funeral, and I'm having a hard time getting the picking or strumming down in a way that works. So Gene, um, as I said in my reply to your email, I'm really sorry to hear that about the circumstances and, and your loss and everything. But um, in case my email reply I already sent or this video can be of further assistance, happy Happy to send it along. And of course, anyone else watching, if you're ever having trouble learning something, getting in that groove with a song that's in 6-8 time, this will help you out. So let's listen to a bit of the Abbott Brothers play this song, and this will sort of demonstrate the sort of advice I'm going to have for you. Okay, so let's start it off here. Capo 5th fret. body won't hold me anymore and it finally lets me free will I be ready when my feet won't Beautiful song, uh, Gene. I'm glad to know this song now. Thanks for sending it. Um, but I just want to pause it right there and say that was the first verse he played, right? Now, the verse and the intro have the same chord progression. But here's the important part is even if you know the chord something uses, that doesn't necessarily give you enough to go by as far as the rhythm, right, and the groove. You have to sort of listen and feel where there's those pulses are. And that's going to inform what strumming or picking pattern you use, right? Because you can sort of put the pulses or the accents or the strong strums in the right spot and it's going to get you in that groove and you'll be cruising along okay so for context most songs are going to be in four four time right four beats per measure right one two three four one two three four i'd say 80 percent of you know country rock folk americana pop stuff is in four four time you can kind of assume that's the sort of time signature until you discover otherwise now how do you discover if it's not in four four time one bit of advice is put a song on, right? Listen for the, the sort of start of each measure or the, the strong beat, and then just count every beat and count to four. Now, if it is in four, four time, whenever you get to that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, it's usually gonna align with a chord change or some strong accent in the song itself, and it'll work out. But if we try it in this song, let's listen to what happens. This is important to sort of show you here, right? I'm gonna wait for a strong beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that, that's not working, right? I'm counting to four in a steady, along with the beat, but the accents in the song are happening at staggered times compared to my counting. Now, if that happens, I would say then your next best bet most of the time is to count to six, right? We're going to look at six, eight time, right? Super similar to three quarter time. You could argue that they're very, very, very just two different sides of the same coin. I'm not going to get into that difference right now, but let's try again and let's count to six. So we'll wait for a strong beat. One, two, three, four. Oh, I started on four. Let's wait again. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. That works. And I'm going to keep that little stumble I had in there where I was trying to count along and I kind of came in in the middle of the measure and I kind of I backed out, I waited, and then I jumped back on the train at the next strong beat and it worked out. So it's not always something that's going to be a, a sort of a clean, obvious thing. You kind of have to listen, get the sense of the rhythm on your own, jump in, and sometimes you'll jump in in the middle of a measure. That's okay. Just try again. But as you see there, I was able to count to six and it was meshed with the beat of the song perfectly. So that tells us six, eight time, six counts per measure. Now here's the deal. Whenever we're strumming in six, eight time, here's the most important thing I would say. When you're starting off, you wanna put your accents generally on the one count and on the four count, 
Okay, so if we did one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, that's gonna sort of work out really, really well. Let me go through this verse again, and let's do a single strum on the one count and the four count. Now for every measure, that's gonna mean we're gonna strum every chord twice, except for that measure of E minor and A minor. But as you guessed it, right, that E minor is gonna happen on the one count, the A minor is gonna happen on the four count, but let's test it, right? You wanna sort of come up with your hypothesis and then test it. Let's go back in time a little bit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. F, two, three, four, five, six. E minor, two, three, four, five, six. F, two, three, four, five, six. G, two, three, four, Six, right? When my body won't hold me anymore. And it just works. So that's pretty much uh, the, the short answer here is this song, Gene, is in 6-8 time. And at the very least, you want to just do a simple strum with your pulses on the one, two, if my body, uh, let me sing the boom, if my body can't hold anymore. Okay, so that's going to be the, the very least you can do is just strum on the one count and the four count. Now, there's something else I want to call out is watch his hand, his strumming hand, as I play this song here. Watch its movement. Let's me free. Down, 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 Will down, I down, be down, ready? down, 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 down. So he has this constant strum, this constant down, 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 and it, it meshes with each of the six beats, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So this brings up the sort of next level of the strumming pattern, which is do the down strums on all six beats, but the one and the four keep the accent, right? So that would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, F, two, three, four, five, six, E minor, two, Okay, that's the next little tip there is you can keep your hand moving steadily, but putting an accent on that one and that four count is a good place to go next. And it's generally gonna work for any song that's in six, eight time. Now from there, you could take it a little bit further still and add some up strums whenever your hand is coming back up to its next, you know, down strum. So basically that's going to be a one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and you're gonna notice that I let the one and the four kind of keep the strong beat. And also I'm not going to do an up strum right after those because I want those strums to really keep that pulse. Okay. So that would be a one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, four, five, and six, and one, two, and three. And four. Okay. So that's the next little tip there. And that's a great way to sort of spice things up. If you're able to do those light and brushy up strums, it's gonna sound great. So let's put on a little bit more of this song. I wanna play through the, the chorus here and I'll show you the chords for that as well. When my feet won't walk another a minor, mile and my F, give their last. E minor, to F, Will my hands be to G, when I F, lay down my fears, my to G, hopes and my doubts. The M. rings on my fingers and the keys G to again. my house. A minor. With no e. hard feelings. F. F. G. When the sun and we go back to that main section of the song, the okay? So the same exact approach we took with our strumming is gonna work there as well. So um, I hope this is helpful for you, Gene. I do have this print out available. It gives you these sort of strumming patterns written out, the sort of super basic one, which is the one and the four count. Then I have the sort of intermediate one where you do the light strums on the two and the three and the five and the six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you're ready, you can level it up to the down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's a little um, example there. Now, as far as other songs that use this strumming pattern, there are some popular ones, uh, or I'll say other songs that are in 6 8 time. Um, common ones might be, let me pull up my website here and I can show you. So if we go to, I'll 
put this in view of the uh, little thing here. Let's go to Elvis. I know, can't help falling in love, right? Oh, let's count it, right? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One. Okay, that's a good example. You know that song. You can check out my lesson. Another one is Tennessee whiskey. Chris Stapleton, right? Uh, you're as smooth. Six one two three four five 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 six one two three. That's another one as well. All kinds of songs. I should really tag the time signature of these on my website. I will take note to do that. And while I have you here, y'all, if you're looking for any more of my strumming videos, you head on over to my website. You just search for strumming. I have a bunch. Uh, singing and strumming at the same time. Alternating bass notes you know, a few different song breakdowns like me and Bobby McGee, um, alternate picking, right? Bass note strumming, looking at how Neil Young did old man, general tips with the pick, all kinds of stuff. It's available over on songnotes.net. That's my website. And of course, members over here get access to the instructional PDFs that I make. These are my non-song PDFs that will sort of let you uh, follow along with diagrams and everything. I have one for this lesson as well. So uh, again, Gene, I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you for your support. And everyone else who's a member in the Song Notes community, hope you found this helpful as well. And if you're not a member, y'all, check out my website. I have tons of free videos, hundreds and hundreds. But if you want that premium content, the printouts, uh, the sort of courses I have, access to the members only community. You get a 50% discount on all my song sheets. It's only a few bucks a month or there's an annual plan where you can save some money and it, it really supports me and makes these lessons possible. So thanks so much y'all. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.